Good morning from Disney's Animal Kingdom. We're here in Discovery Island and we are going to just walk around and check out some things. Um, Discovery Island's got all little kinds of hidden areas that um, to explore and uh, for animal exhibits. So, you know, a lot of people breeze right through this not realizing how many different things there are here. So let's go check them out. As you cross the bridge uh, from the oasis over the Discovery River, you of course cannot miss the Tree of Life. It is the icon of Animal Kingdom. You know, this area, for the most part, not a lot has changed in Discovery Island since the opening of the park. There's been different animals moved around, some different things have been added here or there, but it's probably the most untouched land of uh, Animal Kingdom since it opened. Of course, yeah, you could spend an hour or two just looking through over the Tree of Life and trying to pick out all the different animals you can see mixed in as part of the bark of the Tree of Life. Definitely one of the most beautiful icons of any uh, Disney park. We're gonna head to the left, and of course over there is Island Mercantile, one of the two main gift shops here at the front of the park. And over here, immediately over here, you've got flamingos. And normally somewhere back there, there's usually a red kangaroo. Sometimes the animals aren't out. Sometimes they have vet appointments or they may be cleaning their habitat. But you can't miss the flamingos and the occasional duck that you can find everywhere <laughs> in these parks. Of course, as we continue, if you head down that way, that's gonna take you to Pandora. Pizza Fari over here has been, I feel like since the park opened, it's been there. Um, it's still closed right now. They are using the patio here as a relaxation station. And I believe Pizza Fari is being used for a uh, cast member break area probably right now. Let's head over to one of our favorite spots, the Otters. And there are the Otters that are resting on the island. They are active throughout the day. Always fun to watch. Come on, Dom. Looks like they're grooming. There are multiple spots to watch the otters from. And they, they do use their whole habitat at different times during the day. You can even see underwater when they decide to go in the water sometimes. But they're all just hanging out over there. There they are. Let's head in and check out the Tree of Life Garden, one of uh, the many different pathways you can see around the Tree of Life. But people don't always explore these little areas. neat thing is you get different views of the tree of life. So this area is blocked off right now, but I think that's part, that's part of the, uh, yeah. It's the queue down there for the Bugs Life attraction. We're in the middle of a major theme park and it's busy. It's, all quiet over here. You can see a different backside of the kangaroo habitat. And here's where you can get a very up close view of the tree of life. You can spot so many different animals. <laughs> Not everybody knows about these paths 
around the uh, tree of life. lemurs habitat. We're now on the other side of the tree, tree of life in Discovery Island. You can see the lemurs up there. A little bit closer view. It's like morning grooming or you know, grooming or feeding. And there's some ducks hanging out too. There's a trainer out and about. Times throughout the day you'll see them either in the habitats or they'll be outside the habitats. You can ask them questions. And the ducks are feeding. <laughs> at the Tree of Life Garden. and we're across from the Discovery Trading Company, the other uh, main gift shop here on Discovery Island. Oh, she got Flame Tree Barbecue over there. And of course, it's tough to be a bug, which is inside of the Tree of Life. Now walking past the Adventurer's Outpost, which is normally the home of her Mickey and Minnie, but Right now, there are no meet and greets. So that way, we'll take you across the Discovery River to Asia. But we're going to head down this path. Which a lot of people don't walk down. And this takes you behind the Tree of Life. In different spots, you get some great views of... Uh, Discovery River, whether through the trees or right on them. Another view of the tree of life. 
Also, if you are traveling in a wheelchair or an empty vehicle, please use the left hand door when they're running, and there will be a cash register to assist you. Sometimes I do have this walkway open, but I have it closed right now. Usually there's a Wilderness Explorer spot in here, but it is not open at the moment. Yeah. There's Pocahontas and Miku. There are so many beautiful water elements around Discovery Island that either flow into the Discovery River or around the Tree of Life. And so many waterfalls. People usually, you know, take pictures in front of the Tree of Life. Some of the most beautiful shots you can take are in these different pathways, whether through the Tree of Life garden or back here behind the Tree of Life. So many unique photos. This is another area where you can really get up close. See the animals that realize. And even they do even have a photo pass area back here now. As you can see here's the exit too. It's tough to be a bug. We always like walking underneath the elephant here. Walk underneath another waterfall. <laughs> we can walk all the way around here. It's like an aardvark or an anteater. And the details go all the way down to the river here. But here's another little spot where you can really see up close Discovery River. And you can even see some of the projectors from the uh, Tree of Life Awakenings, which they do do on the back of the Tree of Life, too. But this is a good area to get away. You want to take a break and relax. It's so quiet when these pass. Up, oh, it's Donald <laughs> and Daisy and Launchpad. Waterfall. We love it when you get to walk behind the water elements. See, some people know to explore this pathway, or I think they've gone the wrong way. <laughs> See, there's uh, anything going on over here. We've got the Galapagos tortoises out today. Oh my God, we're pretty active up. Got another trainer out. <laughs> Trying to get breakfast up. There's one, two, three, four, six of them in there, it looks like. Pretty cool. You come over here across from the tortoises, you get a nice panoramic view of Discovery River. Harambe over there. He's off in the distance. And now we're back on the other side where we started originally. Of course, that right there, you can take the bridge over to Africa and Harambe. Over here is Creature Comforts, AKA Starbucks. <laughs> 
And then across from Creature Comforts are the Cotton Top Tamarins. Who are, where are they at? There's somewhere, oh, I see a tortoise in there. I don't see the Tamarins. Oh no, there they are. All the way up there. There they are. Two of them, I think. They can often be active different times of the day. So we're heading back towards the beginning of the Discovery Island. As you can see, we've made our way back to the entrance to the Tree of Life Garden. Over here next to Island Mercantile is a, is a fun little photo op with Simba, Pomon, and Tumba. Tumba? Pumba! <laughs> and if you head this way towards Pandora, you'll uh, hit Tiffin's, which is probably the highest end restaurant, sit down restaurant here at Animal Kingdom. There's another. Uh, Cute little photo op over here. Changes throughout the year usually. And of course, Nomad Lounge on the river, which is a really nice place to stop and get a drink. And right now the Navi River Journey line is all the way back here. <laughs> so the park is pretty busy. Well, we hope you enjoyed our little exp exploration around Discovery Island. Um, there's so many fun little pathways around the Tree of Life and it's a nice little break, especially if you're here all day. Just walk down one of these pathways. It's usually not that busy. It's usually pretty quiet. And just look at some of the different animals. Take a look at the Tree of Life from angles besides this one that everyone sees when they get in the park. Take some pictures. There's so many amazing photo spots all throughout the different areas of Discovery Island. So we hope you enjoyed this Thrill Geek adventure. Please make sure you click that subscribe button. Leave us a comment or question and we'll get back to you. And remember, stay safe out there and we'll see you in the parks.